Hey everybody, uh, I want to take a second and talk about uh, my belief in um, turning a negative into a positive. Uh, a lot of people have asked, how are you going to build a hand to do this? How are you brave enough to do? How do you brave? How are you brave enough to go into homelessness? The way that I looked at it, the way I broke it down in my mind, was that regardless of what happened, I was going to go homeless. Um, I can take a job. I'm choosing not to because I prefer that job go to someone else who needs it more. That's a positive. It's not a negative, that's a positive. Um, I am choosing to do something that I could have to somebody else who needs it more, who might be in more of a financial need than what I am. Uh, to me, that's a positive. Um, so that gives me happy thoughts to think about that somebody else who needs that money more can have that job and be able to do more with it and make more money that they need. Um, while I set out and um, and go into this journey, homelessness has a negative stigma about it, a very bad stigma about it. It's scary, and I, yes, it should be. It should be very, uh, very scary to people. Um, I don't think it's something people do for fun, and it's not something I'm doing for fun. But I'm taking that negative of me going homeless and turning it into a positive, turning it into a journey. Um, I am convincing myself, and I've kind of stepped in into my mind and have convinced myself that it is a positive thing, that it can be a positive experience, that I can take positive from it. Um, I've learned that I haven't always appreciated things I have in life. I haven't always appreciated the life I have. And so I can take this time and learn to appreciate the things in life. I learn to appreciate the world around me. That's challenging and it's hard, but instead of calling it homelessness, I'm calling it a journey. I know that a lot of people probably couldn't be able to do that. But in my mind, I have to do that. Um, and so, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I am taking what would what some would consider a negative experience, and I'm looking at all the positive aspects of it. I can actually wake up in the morning and enjoy the journey, or I can wake up in the morning and dread my day of being homeless and make it a negative experience and pretend like it's already killed me whenever it hasn't. I'm not dead, I'm still alive. So yeah, that's how I'm handling this. And that's how I suggest people handle everyday issues in life. Every negative aspect of life has a positive to it. You just have to sometimes search for that positive. That is what I've done with this. I am really going homeless. I will not have a home, but I'm using my resources. I, I still have my laptop and I will still have my cell phone. However, I won't have service on my cell phone. And I'm going to be using Wi-Fi whenever I can um, to go write my blog and do videos and um, upload photos from one journey. So that's a positive of it. Just because I'm going homeless doesn't mean I need to get rid of my laptop. It doesn't mean I need to get rid of my phone. I could sell both and make a little bit of money to get by on. And, but then after that, I just lived off a little bit of money. Um, it's not worth it. So, <clears throat> again, another positive of it. The positive to everything. Um, and I'm choosing to take a negative, take it in, process it, turn it into a positive and then put it back out in the world. And then hopefully you guys, people who watch this video, regardless if it's one person, five people, or ten people, or whatever it happens to be, hopefully you guys take a lesson from what I'm telling you right now. Take those negative experiences in life, take them in, look at them, analyze them, take a second out and think about them, find the positives in them, and then put that back out into the world as a positive. It actually helps to make the world around you a better place. Your friends will notice an attitude change in you, and then they will become positive from it too. In most cases. Some cases not, but in most cases, I think that people will be influenced by your attitude, by that positive attitude in your life.
try it and see if it works. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm handling this situation. Anyway, uh, so yeah, take negative experiences, make them into positive experiences. It's very possible. I'm doing it, and hopefully you can do it too. Thanks for your time.